In Moodle, interactive activities can be placed within a book resource, or they can appear on their own on the main course page. Moodle can host a variety of interactive activities, also called H5P activities, that your professor may use. These can include images with hotspots, interactive videos, word searches, drag and drop tasks, presentations, and more. In this example, we've included two types of interactive activities. The first activity is an image with hotspots. You can click on each hotspot to learn more information about the image. The second activity is an interactive video. An interactive video allows you to play a video and interact with different elements while watching it. These elements can be in the form of text, images, links, and questions. The interactions in a video may or may not pause the video until you've interacted with them, so be on the lookout so you don't miss any. For most interactions, you simply click on the button as the video plays and you will see whatever element is there. For some interactions, elements will pop up automatically and cover parts of the screen. To answer questions in an interactive video, read the question. It may be in a button you have to click, or it may pop up on the screen. Select the correct answer. Click Check. If you got the answer correct, click Continue to move on. If you got the answer wrong, retry the question if that option is available. Make sure to click Submit Answers before you exit the video so you can receive a grade for completing the activity. This Submit Answers page usually appears as a star icon at the end of the video's timeline, though it may pop up earlier in the video depending on your professor's settings. These are just two of the many types of interactive activities your professor may or may not choose to incorporate into their course. If you have any questions about a specific activity, contact your professor or the eLearning and Instructional Support Team through the eList Support Portal.